Mastering Government Legacy Systems Legacy systems are sabotaging our goals and nobody's owning up to it. Who within our organization is accountable for assessing the current state of our legacy systems and evaluating their alignment with our organizational goals, and what are their findings regarding the system's capabilities to support our strategic objectives? Establishing clear accountability and conducting a thorough assessment of legacy systems. To achieve operational excellence in government legacy systems, it is crucial to establish clear accountability and conduct a thorough assessment of the current state of these systems. This involves assigning a dedicated team or individual to evaluate the system's capabilities and alignment with organizational goals. This person or team should have a deep understanding of the organization's strategic objectives, technical expertise in legacy systems, and the ability to analyze complex data. The accountable individual or team, hereafter referred to as the legacy system assessor, should possess the following skills and expertise. 1. Technical knowledge, in-depth understanding of the legacy systems, including their architecture, functionality, and technical infrastructure. 2. Business acumen, familiarity with the organization's strategic objectives, goals, and key performance indicators, KPIs. 3. Analytical skills, ability to analyze complex data, identify trends, and draw meaningful conclusions. The legacy system assessor should conduct a thorough assessment of the legacy systems, focusing on the following aspects. 1. Current system capabilities, evaluate the current capabilities of the legacy systems, including their functionality, performance, and scalability. 2. Alignment with organizational goals, assess how the legacy systems align with the organization's strategic objectives, identifying any gaps or misalignments. 3. Technical debt, identify any technical debt or obsolete technology components that need to be addressed or replaced. 4. User experience, evaluate the user experience of the legacy systems, including usability, accessibility, and user adoption rates. 5. Data quality and integrity, assess the quality and integrity of the data stored in the legacy systems, identifying any data duplication, inconsistencies, or security risks. 6. Integration and interoperability, evaluate the ability of the legacy systems to integrate with other systems, applications, and services, ensuring seamless data exchange and workflow processes. 7. Security and compliance. Assess the security posture of the legacy systems, ensuring compliance with relevant regulations, standards, and laws. 8. Cost and resource utilization, analyze the total cost of ownership, TCO, of the legacy systems, including maintenance, support, and upgrade costs, as well as resource utilization and allocation. The findings of the legacy system assessor should be documented in a comprehensive report, highlighting the following. 1. Strengths and weaknesses, identify the strengths and weaknesses of the legacy systems, including areas of improvement and optimization opportunities. 2. Gaps and misalignments, highlight any gaps or misalignments between the legacy systems and the organization's strategic objectives. 3. Technical debt and obsolete components, document any technical debt or obsolete technology components that need to be addressed or replaced. 4. User experience and adoption, provide recommendations for improving the user experience and increasing user adoption rates. 5. Data quality and integrity, offer strategies for improving data quality and integrity, ensuring data consistency and security. 6. Integration and interoperability, identify opportunities for improving integration and interoperability between the legacy systems and other systems, applications, and services. 7. Security and Compliance, provide recommendations for enhancing the security posture of the legacy systems and ensuring compliance with relevant regulations, standards, and laws. 8. Cost and Resource Optimization, offer suggestions for optimizing cost and resource utilization, ensuring efficient allocation of resources and reduced TCO. The report should also include a roadmap for modernizing or replacing the legacy systems, 
prioritizing the most critical areas of improvement and outlining the necessary steps to achieve operational excellence. This roadmap should be presented to senior leadership and stakeholders, ensuring that everyone is aware of the findings and recommendations. By establishing clear accountability and conducting a thorough assessment of the legacy systems, the organization can gain a comprehensive understanding of the current state of these systems and develop a roadmap for achieving operational excellence. This will enable the organization to optimize its legacy systems, align them with its strategic objectives, and improve overall performance, efficiency, and effectiveness.